Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Moto G100. Moto's most powerful G-Series yet. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 450 bucks. Now on a side note, if you buy this directly from Motorola, you're looking at 450 bucks. Now if you buy it from Amazon, you're looking at 490 bucks, but you get the full bundle. This is the best deal. And I'm gonna show you why in a minute. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this comes in two colors. You got white and ocean blue. Now this is GSM unlocked. So that means if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you asked out. Now one more thing I gotta mention, if you got Sprint and you wanna use this phone, you're gonna have to call them and switch over to a T-Mobile SIM card. Okay, your Sprint card will not work. For the display, you got a 6.7 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2520. Now that's 409 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Guys 3 on the front. The back is made out of polycarbonate with a water repellent coating. You got HDR10 and a 90 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 875G with the Adreno 650 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Low tier flagship specs. Now you got eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to one terabyte. Now you do have dual SIM slots. Now it's running Android 11 with the Moto skin on top, which is basically stock Android. Now you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 20 watt charging. I was about to say fast charging, 20 watt charging. For the cameras, on the rear you got a quad setup. 64 megapixel wide angle, 16 megapixel ultra wide, two megapixel depth sensor, and a 3D time of flight. On the front, you got a dual setup. So you got a 16 megapixel wide angle and an eight megapixel wide angle. Now from the main camera, you can shoot 6K video at 30 frames per second and 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now you got Bluetooth 6, NFC, face unlock. You got a side mounted fingerprint sensor. You got a headphone jack, and this phone features Ready 4. I'm gonna show you what that is in a minute, but it's basically like Samsung Dex. You can uh, connect your phone to a laptop or a monitor, which is perfect for gaming, perfect for your Zoom calls, and perfect for your scumbag activities. All right, so all of that for 490 bucks, what's missing? No wireless charge and no dual speakers. All right, here we go. Let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. white shoes, calm down. Y'all see the knife hand, extra straight today. Okay, now like I said, if you buy this directly from Moto, you're looking at 450 bucks just for the phone. Now if you buy it from Amazon, you get the full bundle. So first thing you're gonna get is the USB Type-C car charger. All right, now this is a fast car charger. Let me grab a little unboxing knife. We've been using the zombie killer lately. Here we go. Oh, do I, I don't even need it? Okay. This is gonna be a USB Type-C car charger. Now all of this comes with the bundle. So basically you got USB-A and the USB Type-C slot. Real simple. Now let me file this into my pocket because I'm dropping this into my car immediately. Okay, now here's the bundle deal. Let's see, did we miss anything? Qualcomm Snapdragon 870. Now here's Ready4, okay? Instantly connect to any TV or display with Ready4. Okay, now if you buy the phone by itself, you're gonna have to buy that accessory separately. That's why I said the uh, bundle is the best deal. Okay, here's what you get with the bundle deal. Okay, so you got your ready for dock. This is gonna be your ready for cable. And here's your device. So let's start with the device. Okay, blue box. <laughs> no giggity necessary. Okay, now check this out. Right. One stop shopping, you do get a case, okay? Simple gel skin case, nothing fancy, but a free case is always appreciated. Here's your device. Let me get a little wipe down on this. Bang, okay? Polycarbonate back, also known as plastic, but it feels pretty durable, and it does have that water repellent coating. Uh, let me say that again, water repellent coating with Gorilla Guys 3 on the front. Let's go ahead and power this up real quick. Okay, let that boot up. Let's see what else you get. All right, now this is gonna be your usual books and shit. Pluck them and file them. 
This is going to be your 20-watt charging brick. Samsung, Apple, pay attention. Charging brick in the box. And this is going to be a USB Type-C charging cable. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave all this stuff just like this because I will sell this phone for whoever makes the uh, best offer. Okay, we'll talk about this in a minute. Let's check out the Ready4 cable. Okay. Rah. Let's see what this is. Now, this is going to be a USB Type-C to HDMI cable. Okay, so you can connect this to your computer, connect it to your laptop, your PC, your TV, go crazy. All right, so basically what this is, is just going to be a USB Type-C cable with HDMI on one side. Okay, full-size HDMI with USB Type-C. Now, I'll try this out in a minute. All right, shoes, inspect that for quality. Again, I'm going to save all these boxes because whoever wants this phone, I will sell it as a full bundle deal. Okay, now here's the Ready4 dock. Let's see, uh, Ready4 adjustable dock, instantly connect to your TV. Let's see, adjustable angles, integrated cooling fan that disperses heat. I like that. Right. Okay, Ready4 dock. Okay, usual books and shit. Plug them and read them later. We'll set this up in a minute. Okay. So this is basically looks like Nice little docking station. Okay. I'll set this up in a minute. Okay, real real simple though. There it is just like that. Okay, now this does have a little moto, little moto logo. It has kind of has a heavy weight to it. Rubber grip on the bottom, so this way it's gonna stay in place. Let's um I uh, I'll slide this in here. All right, let me set this up real quick. Alright, so here's how the dock works. All you gotta do is plug in the stand, rest it on your table. You're gonna grab the charging duck, slap your phone in, lock it into place. Now, if you want just regular power, connect the USB Type-C charging cable, or if you wanna use Ready4, use the USB Type-C. Put that right in the back. You do have an LED light, and it's charging right up. So this can work as a desktop dock, or the Ready4 dock. All right, and when you wanna take the phone off, press the button, pop it right out. Okay, so let me pause the video. I'll delete my browsing history. Then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's talk about the build quality. Now, y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Now, one of the benefits of not having a glass back phone is durability. So if you got butterfingitis and you're always dropping your phone, this one is gonna be harder to break. You got Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. The phone does have a water repellent coating. Now this is that iridescent blue color. Very shiny, very shimmery. Has a nice heavyweight feel to it. Definitely doesn't feel cheap. Kind of feels premium. On the back, there's your Moto logo. You got a quad camera setup with dual LED flashes. So if you look closely, there's one flash and there's another flash going around the camera. And that's gonna be perfect for your macro shots. I'll show you how that works in a minute. On one side, you got your power button slash fingerprint sensor. Above that, volume up and down. On the top, just a mic. On the other side, check this out. You got a dedicated Google Assistant button. That's a nice touch. Beneath that, you got your dual SIM tray. And on the bottom, headphone jack, Samsung, Apple, headphone jack, USB Type-C charging slot, and your speaker grill. Now again, no dual speakers on this one. Now, at the beginning of the video, I said this is Moto's most powerful G-Series yet. They do have the G200 coming out. That one has the Snapdragon 888 Plus, but the only downside to that one is no headphone jack and no expandable memory. Now, chances are, if you're one of those people that love the G-Series phones, you want a headphone jack and you want expandable memory. All right, so you're gonna be missing out with the G200. So this might be the best G-Series yet. A Couple of different ways you can open up the device. Now on the side, you got your fingerprint sensor, which works super fast, super flawless. I was gonna say flawless and fast at the same time, flawless. <laughs> so it's super fast, super flawless. <laughs> Here we go. And very responsive, okay? No issues with that. Now if you want to, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin, and you do have face unlock, all right? So I'm not gonna touch anything. Just gonna lift the phone, look at it. Bang, there it is. Let's do that one more time. Bang. So face unlock, 
Super fast, flawless fingerprint sensor. Say that fast. Super fast, flawless fingerprint sensor. Oh, that's kind of a tongue twister. Super fast, flawless fingerprint sensor. Okay? Let's, let's walk through the OS real quick. Now I'm going to try to make this quick. First, let's try that Google Assistant button. What's the weather for today? It'll be sunny with a high of 54 and a low of 40. Now, if y'all right notice... now it's 52 <laughs> and sunny. If y'all notice, I put the uh, UK accent on my Google Assistant. It just kind of makes me feel more Tony Starkish, more James Bondish, better than the uh, standard USA voice. Now, on the front, you do have dual cameras. Now, this is also a nice touch because now you can take wide-angle selfies. Okay, so quad cameras on the rear, dual cameras on the front with the work and face unlock. Google Pixel 6. Fingerprint sensor and face unlock. Now, I can't stress this enough. All, right, all y'all Pixel 6 owners, trust me, I feel your pain because I'm a Pixel 6 owner too. This is how it's supposed to be done. Okay, you, you don't have to have on-screen fingerprint sensors. You can have your fingerprint sensor right on the side. Look how fast and responsive that is. And then if you got your phone on the table and you pick it up, bang. Face unlock. We want both. All right, that's just a little side note right there. Okay, now you got all your basic toggles, okay? You do have screenshot and screen record. That's a nice one right there. Let's see, you got NFC, okay? So you can use your mobile payment systems. You got nearby share. You got screencast. You got your audio effects, okay? So when you plug your headphones into that headphone jack, play with your audio effects. You got your QR scanner and your file transfer. Let's take it over to settings real quick. Now, there's not too much really these uh, to see here. All your basic. Let's go. Let's just make sure everything is here. You got VPNs, private DNS, all right, for all your scumbag activities. Let's go to battery. Now, this has a 5,000 milliamp battery, which I've been using this phone for a couple of days. This is one of the selling points of this phone. The battery life is ridiculous, okay? Now, I leave my phone on max brightness. I got all my notifications on. Once I post something on Instagram or Twitter, I'm getting a thousand and one alerts. My phone is going off like crazy. This battery easily lasted me all day. So a full eight hour work day. Then after that, my commute home. Then after that, a little scumbag activities in the bed, trolling on Instagram and all my social media activities. And by the time I'm ready to shut it down at 11 o'clock, still had battery left. So basically this is an all day battery phone. Okay, now on a side note also, I'm rocking 90 hertz refresh rate. If you want even more battery, you can drop it down to 60. But you do have battery saver. You got adaptive battery. You can show your battery percentage. Might as well go ahead and leave that on. Let's take it over to display. Okay, now you see for yourself, 100% brightness. Let's go to advanced. Let's see, you got peak display. Now I'll show you some of these features in a minute. You can change your colors. Now I'll leave mine on saturated, but you got natural and boosted. 90 hertz. So if you want to, you can have it on auto where this will have variable refresh rates, or you can leave it on 60 if you want to save battery, or if you like me and you spent your money and you want to enjoy the phone to the fullest maximum potential, might as well just leave it on 90. With a 500 milli uh, 5,000 milliamp battery, 90 hertz refresh rate is not going to hurt the phone. It's not going to hurt the battery at all. Okay, anything else? Now you got your three finger screenshots, bong, attentive display. Uh, let's just go through some of that stuff real quick. Now attentive display is while you're looking at the phone, the phone screen will stay on. Here's your peak display, okay? Now you see I got notifications. I could just peek on it without opening up the phone. So I got Instagram. You see I got an Instagram message right there, okay? Got some Gmails, more Instagram, and Facebook. So this is perfect for if you got your phone on the table and you're in a meeting and you wanna just check that, you wanna check your YouTube and your Instagram stats real quick, you just posted a picture. Wanna see if you're getting any likes. Bong. All right, let's see. I just posted a picture of white shoes, and we're getting some activity. Okay? So that's going to be your peak display. Now, you got the three-finger screenshots. Okay? Bong. You just hold it like that, and then you can share it. Okay? Now, some now you see I just swiped. Some phones, you got to do the swipe. This one, you can just hold. Bong. Three-finger screenshot. I like that. Okay, you got ready for. Now, I'm going to connect this to a laptop in a minute, show you how that works. And of course, you got the screen record. Let's go over the sound real quick. We'll check the uh, speaker in a minute. One bottom firing speaker, not the loudest in the world. One of my main gripes with this phone is dual speakers. 
Okay, now I said this before, I'm gonna say it again. In 2021, I don't care what you're paying for a phone because there's a lot of budget phones that do have dual speakers. Every phone should have dual speakers. Now that's just my needs. You might be the type of person that wears headphones all the time or you don't like lis listening to media. You're not on social media and you don't want everybody around you knowing what you're doing. Then the, dual, the one speaker on the bottom might be perfect for you. Okay, but me, I like to blast music. I like to watch media all day. I like having dual speakers. But the one speaker on this one is no slouch. Let's see anything else. Um, accessibility. You got all, if you're hearing or vision impaired, uh, visually impaired, you got all of the features. Okay, all of the settings. I have to uh, mention that for my hearing and visually impaired friends out there. Let's see, for security, face unlock, fingerprint sensor, and you got smart lock. Okay. Anything else we need to see here? Let's go to uh, gestures. Okay. So you got your quickly open a camera. Okay. To quickly open a camera, press the power button twice. Okay. So when your phone is off, let's go ahead and try that out real quick. Let's try the world star button. Bong. Okay. Let's, let's do that again. Okay. So say you're outside. Let's turn this off. Let's hit the power button twice. Okay, let's set up let's set up a re real camera. Let's try that one more time. Phone is kind of trolling me. All right, shoes is right here working. I don't know if y'all can see it, but shoes is back there working. Let's see. <laughs> Hold up, I just I just knocked my camera off the tripod. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do that real quick. I want to catch a quick picture of shoes. Hit the power button twice. Bang, there it is. That's your world star button. Now, on a side note, I found the cheat code to keep shoes out of my way. If you notice, I put that little pad down on the table. For some reason, she likes to sit on it. So whenever I need to get shoes out of my way, all I gotta do is set up a little cloth on the table, and now we can still hang out, but she's kinda out of my way. I like that. <laughs> I shoes, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I like you in the way, but sometimes you be too much in the way. Okay, let's go through our power menu. Now check this out. If you tap this twice, you open that little, tap the power button twice, not press it, just tap it twice with your finger. You got some recently used apps. And if you want to, let's try that one more time. Now, this is my first time trying this feature. Take it over to settings. Okay, shoes. You can delete apps or add more apps. Let's add Amazon Music. Okay, so we delete the calculator, delete the clock. We can add Amazon Alexa and Amazon Shopping. Okay, so this way, now I'm on my home screen. Tap the fingerprint sensor twice. Open that up. Take me straight over to YouTube or take me straight over to Amazon. Okay, that's a nice little feature. I never really played with that one. Three finger screenshots, let's see. Double tap the power, that's shortcuts. Okay, so like, uh, turn the phone flashlight chopping motions. Okay, let's try the flashlight. All right, so the phone is off. Let's do the karate chop. Bong, there's your flashlight. Karate chop it back off. All right, so this is cool. So if you're in the car somewhere, you drop your power for now, you're on the floor, grab your phone, chop it twice. Hold on, I press the button. See, that fingerprint sensor is so responsive. Try that real quick. Chop it twice, flashlight, pick up everything up, pick up everything up. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. All right, so the uh, flashlight chop. Let's see, twist your wrist for a camera. Okay, so they got another world star, gesture, twist of the wrist. Oh, that's even better. So this way, if you're holding a phone in your hand, you don't have to press the power button twice. Twist it, shoes. <laughs> shoes, shoes focused. All right, well, anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so let's open that up. Let's say anything else. Quick capture, swipe to the left, the split screen. Now you can do that for the split screen. Let's try that out. Okay, swipe across for the split screen. Now I'm old school, I like to do my split screen like this. Just hold up, press the button, and hit split screen. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the settings. 90 hertz refresh rate. Nice and smooth, okay. Butter soft scrolling speeds, butter soft, butter smooth, and butter soft scrolling speeds. So far with this phone, haven't had any lag. And with the Snapdragon 870 processor, this is easily one of the uh, most powerful G phones that I use yet. Now I got the Moto Edge, that one was pretty good too. Now none of these Moto phones have any lag, but this one just kind of has a flagship vibe to it. Okay, this one has a flagship feel to it. Smooth, fast. Responsive. What did I say earlier? Fast, flawless, <laughs> fast, flawless fingerprint sensor. Okay. Oh, now I got all my apps on here. You see, no loading, no uh, lag at all. Let's try out the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to Apple.com.
אוקיי? There it is. Now this is the full website. Let's try that one more time. Go to Samsung.com. Now Samsung is a big heavy website with a lot of pop-ups. And there it is. Full website, all of the pictures, 90 hertz scrolling speeds. Exit out of that. Now if you want to, let's try some uh, split screen multitasking. We'll do uh, YouTube on the bottom. Okay, now I've been watching a lot of gun videos. I can't wait till I move out of town. I'm opening up my gun channel. All right, we're gonna go crazy. Okay, so you is can watch them. Phone, or is it an Woo, what is that? Yeah, all right, so you got, got the phone gun. Okay, now you can shop for the phone gun. I, I doubt they sell it at Samsung, but you got the iPhone case gun. <laughs> Bro, I, I, what is, oh, I'm in the wrong state, man. All of my true subscribers, man, I, I need y'all to rock with me on my channel. Stay with me, okay? Stay with me, because when I move out of New York, we are going crazy. All right, we are going to be going crazy. But anyway, here's your split-screen multitasking. Let's open that up. Let's try picture-in-picture, picture. okay? There's your picture-in-picture. Picture. Now I go to Facebook. There's my picture right there. White shoes on deck. Let me go ahead and like my own photo. Why not? And keep it moving. That's right, my man Bobby right here. Look at the beard. All right, let's keep it moving. Exit out of that, and we'll exit out of that. All right, so now let's test out the uh, bottom firing speaker. All right, so I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test. Time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth. Time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? Does it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. It actually sounds pretty good. Let's cover the bottom up. See one bottom firing speaker. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Not bad at all. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. All right, so now let's check out this 6.7 inch IPS LCD display. Basically bezel-less. Up to 650 nits brightness. Pretty good viewing angles. Here's how it's gonna look like when you're watching your videos. Real nice. Check out those viewing angles. This is pretty dope though. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. We got Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. Get it on. Ass bolt nine. We get that nitro right out of the box. Let's go. All right, this time I'm not playing around. Okay, tap and hold the drift. Got it. Okay, we got it. Here we go. Oh, okay. Side swipe. Now I gotta stay toward the top on this one. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's a little, we got it, yeah, there we go. Let's get flashy. Let's get flashy on the sides. Oh, let's go. Oh, we, oh, I dropped off. Let's go, let's go. We sit on first. Let's get flashy. Hold up, did we do it? All right, we're still in first place. 
Okay. <laughs> all right. So gaming on your Moto G100, no issues at all. Now let's talk about the camera. Now for quick access, you can hit the power button twice or do the chops. That's for them world star hip hop moments. Bang, point and shoot. Okay, so let's go through the different shooting modes. Now from video, you got 6K at 30 frames per second or 4K at 60 frames per second. Now you can zoom in all the way up to eight times or you can do macro. Now check this out. You can activate the macro flashlight. So you got a regular LED flash and the macro flashlight. Now let's go to photos real quick. Same thing, you got macro all the way up to eight times zoom. Now let's put it on macro real quick. Check this out. I'm gonna turn on the light. Now if you wanna see the ash on my finger, <laughs> extra ashy up close. Now let's turn that off. And here's how your macro shot's gonna look. Now check this out, let's see if shoes will chill right here for a minute. See if I get a macro, see if I get a macro of the tail. Shoes, let me get a shot real quick, calm down. Now, now when I wanna get a macro shot, I look at this. Oh, look at that, that's a real nice macro. Just let me show you how that came out. Now she was actually moving around. Let's, let's do that one more time. I don't know if y'all can see that, but real nice. Let's do something y'all can actually see. You're gonna get some nice macro shots with this. Oh, real nice. Look at that. You can see the hair on my skin. Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's keep it moving. Now you got portrait mode. You got cutout, spot color, night vision, cinemagraph, panorama. You got group selfies. You got ultra res, live filter. All right, you got live focus videos, pro mode, portrait mode, slow motion, AR stickers, split color, and dual capture. Okay, so a lot of different modes to choose from. Let's take it over to regular portraits real quick. See if I get a quick portrait. Bong, point and shoot. Real nice. Okay, the camera on this is not bad at all. And with the dual cameras in the front, you get those wide angle selfies. Take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
Now let's take a look at one of the best features of this phone, Ready For. Here's how it works. Now I got the HDMI plugged into the back of the TV. Just gonna plug it right into the bottom of the phone and check this out. Now you're gonna get your home screen. So we got mobile desktop, TV, game, video chat, and mirror display. So let's run through some of these real quick. So here's mobile desktop. Now you can use the phone as a trackpad. So let's go ahead and open up Chrome. Here's samsung.com. Okay, you see I'm using the phone as a trackpad. Real dope, you can open as many windows as you want. Exit out of that, bang. Now I can take it to Gmail, Play Store, go crazy. Now let's exit out of this one. Hit that home screen. Let's take it over to TV. Now from the TV, let's do uh, YouTube. Let me pull up my trackpad again. Okay, let's do TV. Here's the trackpad, we'll open this up. Let's try that one more time. Okay, and here's YouTube. Okay, now I can watch YouTube videos right from the phone, from the phone to the TV. Okay, so let's exit out of this one. Bang, just like that. Let's go home, get to that home screen menu, hit the button just like that. Now let's take it over to game, now I can play some Asphalt 9, but I'm gonna try something else. And of course you got video chat and mirror display. Now I'm gonna connect my Xbox controller and try a little gaming. Now I'm up in my attic and the Wi-Fi is pretty trash, but if you want to, you can play your Xbox games right from your phone on your TV using a wireless controller. Now let's do the RDA test. Now you're spending almost 500 bucks on the phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now you got your phone on the table, you wake up in the morning, just move it around. You can see the time, the date, and your battery percentage. And you can also check your notifications without unlocking it using Peak Display. So you see I got some Instagrams, got some YouTubes, got some Facebook messages, just like that. Now when I'm ready to wake up and get busy, I'm gonna grab the phone, not gonna touch anything, just look directly at it, bang, opens right up. First, let's check the weather. Okay, 52 degrees, beautiful sunny day in New York. Swipe out of that. Now let's take it over to Twitter. Let's see what's going down. Let's take it over to my mentions. Okay. Now shout out to Nothing Air One. Right, that giveaway just ended. I hope all of y'all who entered win. Let's see anything else going down. Uh, let's keep scrolling. Okay, a lot of entries for that giveaway. Oh, check these out. Okay, some Jordan 4s, the red and white. I like that. Okay, I already, I already liked that earlier. Oh, these must be hitting the market real soon. Okay. Anyway, JBL speaker, y'all seen that one. Real dope, let's get in like that. Here's how your Twitter's gonna look with that 90 hertz refresh rate. Beautiful. Let's keep it moving. Now let's do a little bit of work emails. Okay, let's take it over to Gmail. Okay, we got some new stuff from StockX, real nice. Okay, Christmas sale, okay. Okay. Let's get a reply to some messages real quick. Uh, no thanks. Okay, hit send. Bong, just like that. This is how work is gonna look. All right, so you can do all your emails with no issues. Keep it moving. Now let's do a little social media savagery. Let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, let's see what's going down on Facebook. <laughs> All right, we got the Island Boys. I'm an island boy. This just goes to show you that basically in 2021, anybody could be famous. All right, all you got to do is get your hustle on and you could be down with the Island Boys if you what? Island Boys. <laughs> I don't know. I, yo, I, to me, I, th I, I, I think they're hilarious, man. All right, they're hilarious. Don't take them too seriously, man. Just They just all about jokes. Island boys. Let's see, this is some new toys coming out. Everybody looking fresh for the holidays. I right, have my man Bobby with the beard. That that beard is looking ferocious. I like that. Let's see anything else. Okay. <laughs> now that song, that, that, that song gonna be stuck in my head all day. Island boys. <laughs> okay, now check this out. Get some prop money. Alright, this will be a nice stocking stuffer right here. 
I give somebody some prop money and this way they could uh, get their Instagram flex on. And that's pretty much it. Now, if I want to, now say that Island Boy song stuck in my head and I want to listen to it on YouTube, we can take it over to YouTube, do some split screen multitasking. All right, you can watch the Island Boys <laughs> and go to Facebook at the same time. Exit out of that. Let's keep it moving. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. See what's going down over here. All right, now let's um let's turn the volume down. And now this guy right here be straight trolling people. Okay, okay. Now this is a family show. This is a family show. I right, call cool. you that. Now that was breastfeeding. That's a little bit too much for TikTok. You know, look, look, man. Everything do not have to be online, ladies. No disrespect to y'all that's out there breastfeeding and all that. No disrespect at all. But some moments in life are meant to be private, right? Every single thing in your life does not have to be a TikTok or an Instagram story. Bro, like, come on, man. nobody really wanna see that shit. I don't got nothing against it, but come on, man. Damn, man. All right, anyway, this is how your TikTok is, I know, this is how your TikTok, you know, go on TikTok and dance, all right? Do your little skits, you know, do some how-to instructional videos, you know what I'm saying, a little, whatever you do, but some stuff is personal, keep your personal life personal. You gotta have some kind of personal life, all right? Damn. Hey, this is a family show. Let's get, let's get exit out of that. Next. Okay, that's how your TikTok is going to look. Let's do, uh, let's see, one more. Let's take a look. Is it safe to open up Instagram? Let's see what's going down on the gram. Okay, is it safe to open up Instagram? Let's see what Instagram selects for me. Okay, here we go. Because <laughs> right, Instagram be really trolling me. Okay, this, like I said, this is a family show, so we're going to try to we're gonna try to do this correctly. Uh, somebody getting... Now, back in the days, we used to call that getting yammed on, yeah? Not, not slammed, getting yammed on. He got yammed on real quick. Okay, now, this is a nice, healthy lunch right here. Okay, not for me, but for somebody else. Oh, check this out. <laughs> All right, shout, shout out to Granny up in the gym, working out, eating at the same time. I respect her hustle. All right, bump box. Christmas stocking stuffers. Let's see. Um, highway disasters. I don't like to see any negativity like when I'm getting my scroll on. Shout out to The Rock out here. Universal universal icon right here. All right, Blue got a new phone. Let's see if pronounce L-M-A-O. No, it's l May. <laughs> I love that little cat right there. Anyway, let me get it like that. Okay, anyway. Now, check this out. I, 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 did, I did post something earlier. Let, let me, let's get the volume up. Here's my reel. Listen. All right, this is my little reel. I don't really do too many reels, but anybody who anybody who really knows me knows that um you know Maya went to Catholic school, so every time I might be talking shit, I'd be like, nah, many Padre, Spiro, Dusandos, and I heard this little meme right here. I don't know why I thought that shit was so funny, but anyway. So, <laughs> anyway, okay. Okay, okay. Anyway, so this is how your Instagram is going to look. Bong, exit out of that. You already seen gaming. You already seen the camera. So, basically, RDA, regular daily activities, no problem with the Moto G100. Run like a boss. And you got a little drop test right there. There it is. Let's keep it moving. All right, so overall. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Moto G100 a major, major go. And for under 500 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. 450 bucks for Motorola and 490 bucks for the full bundle, that's a win. Okay, the build quality is very durable. The phone looks modern and nice. The display is big, bright with the 90 hertz refresh rate. You got a low tier flagship processor, so the phone is gonna be super smooth with no lag. The battery life on this, 5,000 milliamps, lasts you all day long. You got a headphone jack, expandable memory, and the Ready For Dock is a nice touch for your gaming, your videos, and your scumbag activities. Anyway, Moto G100, this is a double major go. The only downside to this for me is no dual speakers, but I can live with that. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. 
No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock, run the beam up. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.